right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've received some questions on how to install XVM and some of the other mods that are um, for World of Tanks that you can use in your game. So I'm going to go ahead and give a short tutorial on exactly how you're going to put XVM on your computer so you can uh, get it to work in the World of Tanks game. All right, if you don't already have XVM, you're going to go ahead and want to install it. So go ahead and go into your Google search. Now once you're there, you're going to go ahead and type in XVM. I'm going to go ahead and select the XVM for 7.5 version. Alright, now where I'm there, when I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and look at the second uh, selection here. It says Downloads, World of Tanks, XVM, XVM, blah, blah, blah. You're just going to go ahead and click on that. And when you do, you're going to go ahead and want to use the most updated version of XVM that they have. Now, this is a tutorial for the 7.5 version of World of Tanks. So, um, if there's any future versions of World of Tanks, you're going to want to do exactly the same thing. Just make sure that you uh, have the latest updated version. For instance, um, when I had 7.4 of World of Tanks, I used the XVM Full 2.4.1 version. That was actually the latest updated version uh, for XVM for the 7.4. Now for the 7.5, it's the 2.5.2 test 2. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Click the next selection. And that will begin your download. Now once it's fully downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up. And inside your XVM full folder, you'll have several things inside it. So go ahead and go to the left of your screen there and click on downloads and you'll see the actual XVM that just downloaded to your PC. Now what I ended up doing is I went ahead and took this folder and drug it out to my desktop and that's what you see right here. The, the actual zip folder is on your desktop. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go into your World of Tanks main folder. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do go ahead and back out actually. You're going to select this folder and you're going to place it into your World of Tanks folder. Now I've already done this, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. But when you look inside your World of Tanks folder, at the bottom is that zip file. Now what you're going to want to do is right click on the zip file, select Extract All, And go ahead and make sure that it's extracting into your World of Tanks main folder. Just like this. It should already be defaulted. Go ahead and click Extract. And again, I've already done this, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the Xbox. But make sure you click Extract. And when you extract it, those four items that were in that folder will now be in your World of Tanks main folder. Your XVM proxy, which is going to be your application that allows you to get into the game while using uh, the XVM. So this is actually what you're going to double click to enter the game now. Not your World of Tanks shortcut. You're going to have your proxy.exe and now the names in mine is a little bit different and I'll explain why later. But that exe or config file is going to be there for you. Then you're also going to have two XVM folders up here. You're going to have XVM doc an XVM full 2.5.2 test 2. 
go ahead and go into this folder, the full version 2.5.2 test 2. You're going to go ahead and copy the ResMods folder. Then you're going to go into your ResMods folder and you're going to paste it in there. Then you're going to click on your XBM doc folder, click on samples, full config en, and then you're going to see an xvm.xvm config file. You're just going to go ahead and copy that file. Back out. Go ahead and double click your res mods. Double click your 7.5. Double click your GUI. And go ahead and paste it in your flash folder. And then as you can see, at the bottom of my flash folder, there's your xvm.xvm config file. Now go ahead and back out and go back into your World of Tanks main folder. And if you'll look at the bottom, we're going back to that proxy.exe. Now I've uh, had problems in the past and so have other people in the uh, World of Tanks community with being able to use this and so somebody found a bug that they were able to fix simply by doing this simple troubleshooting and all you do is after your .exe or .config whatever it is that's in there go ahead and put a space and type in the word launcher afterwards and when you do this afterwards you should be good to go and if you want to go ahead and create a shortcut on your desktop for this, all you do is click on your World Tanks XVM proxy, the actual application, not the config file. Go ahead and click Create Shortcut. And then you'll want to move it to your desktop. And here it is. Now when you double click on your XVM proxy shortcut, that is how you're going to get World of Tanks, the XVM to work in your World of Tanks game. If you try and use the World of Tanks shortcut that you've been using since you played it from the beginning, it won't work. You've got to use the proxy shortcut. Now when you double click this, it's going to bring up a black uh, GUI screen. Don't worry about it, it's supposed to do that. But then immediately after the black screen, it should bring up your World of Tanks game. And then you should be able to play just fine uh, using your XVM inside your games. Hope you guys are able to enjoy it. And uh, thanks for looking at my video.